Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name is Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube. And today um, I was woken up by spirit telling me to do this reading. So it's like five o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is all about. And in fact, I am only using the tarot here to communicate something you're needing to know for whatever reason this is coming through quite strong. Um, let's take a look. We have three decks to choose from here for your message. Lean in on your intuition. Whichever deck you're intuitively called towards will most likely have the message for you. It is okay to be drawn to multiple piles. Could just mean there's multiple messages in regards to your situation or whatever it is that spirit is wanting to communicate. So option number one, we have the OK Tarot. For option number two, we have the Night Sun Tarot. And for option number three, we have the Shuffle Tarot. I will put the timestamp in the description box and in the pinned comment. You can pick your deck and I will see you at your pick. Hello, my gorgeous pile one. You picked the OK Tarot. And yeah, we're going to take a look at what message Spirit is wanting to communicate via the tarot cards only. We have the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords dropping out right away uh ace of swords is in reverse so this tells me quite a bit actually um we have most likely something that you're contemplating and there's two messages one you're not quite sure whether to trust your own mind your own logic about something or you feel as though someone might not be giving you a full truth um you're not sure what to believe here if you're resonating with a gemini libra aquarius and that could be confirmation for you that this is your pile or the energy around you but i do feel like you're stuck on making a decision or you're not quite sure you could trust your decision-making process here. Now, nothing here says decision. We'll see what the cards want to show us, but I do feel as though you're kind of in your head about making a decision here, and you're not sure if you could trust your own thinking. Um, let's see. We have the Empress. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Wands, the Three of Cups, Justice in reverse, and the Emperor. Wow. And we have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, well, the Ten of Cups could mean an idolized type um, connection here between two people um, because this is the epitome of what one wants in a connection here with the ten of cups that's like the ideal relationship getting full fulfillment here with another we have both the king and the queen of swords and we have the empress and the emperor which are divine counterparts to each other um okay so i'm feeling an energy here um you could be resonating with divine masculine energy here. It uh, doesn't have to quite be. You could flip the role, but there is one energy here that is contemplating whether progressing here with, I'm feeling this divine feminine energy, is the right decision or not. Coming into sort of a reconciliation um, is what you're contemplating here but it's been very challenging because you feel as though this other energy might not be cooperating or maybe not showing any signs of wanting to come together here um but i feel like you're wanting to take this connection that you have energetically with this person to the next level and come into some sort of reunion. Um, yeah, there's an interesting energy here. Um, I'm 
Let me get a clarifier here for the Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Justice in Reverse, and the Emperor. I'm going to pull um, a clarifier here for this. We have the Nine of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Six of Swords. I feel there's been some sort of a... Um, I feel it intuitively. There's been some sort of a separation or some sort of a divide here. And I think somebody is in their head about whether they should come together and offer like a, an olive branch here to reconcile um, and be the one to kind of make this move after heavy reflection and contemplation because they kind of want to bring peace here although they don't know whether the other person is interested i feel like someone is very fixed somebody seems very fixed here um for quite some time and they're wanting to move away from any sort of drama or any sort of unfairness in this connection that has brought sadness Libra is coming through very, very heavy here. We also have Aries, Taurus, and then Gemini and Aquarius as well. But, uh, hmm. Okay. So either you're contemplating or an energy around you. Now, I did do a collective reading where Divine Feminine um, was, oh, these are backwards, was, um, moving away from a divine masculine kind of feels like the same energy i don't know if this divine masculine is now reflected and wanting to come forward here with some sort of um reconciliation um let's see because that four of pentacles normally gives me a holding back or being stuck in some sort of way energetically although we did see the six of swords which is moving away from conflict i don't know if this emperor is wanting um stability let's see spirit why are we seeing this can we get can we get more information here for pile number one in regards to what do they need to know about this what do they need to know about this one split around we have the page of pentacles in reverse the two of cups in reverse the queen of swords eight of swords king of wands in reverse the sun the moon the strength card the four of cups and the lovers and the bottom of the deck the king of swords coming out again king and queen of swords Okay, so Divine Masculine, I still feel like, was needing to make a practical offer here in regards to movement on a connection that I feel is ended. So this is really connecting to that collective reading I did the other day, okay? Um, I feel heavy Divine Masculine and heavy Divine Feminine here with the sun and the moon side by side. The fact that we have the King and the Queen of Swords, which is the um, counterparts to each other here. Um, there was a, a need for the divine masculine to find a sense of balance here and to come back with some sort of courage, which I feel like what was missing here was the courage to face whatever fears that he might have been in his head about in regards to this connection specifically that was limiting him, holding him back and not allowing him to move forward and make a decision. So, Spirit's wanting you to know this for a reason. Um, intuitively, I was feeling as though there is movement here or there has been reflection and this energy that was not deciding or moving forward. There is a decision. Um, I do feel there is a decision that is being made. Ace of Swords, truth, new beginning. Okay, so let's see if we could see what this decision is although i do feel this is very tied if you haven't watched the very 
uh, last reading I did here, I feel the energy is quite tied. If you have parted with somebody um, and you're resonating with a divine feminine type energy, I feel as though whosoever you walked away from here is really contemplating um, what this looks like for them to now come forward with um, a level of commitment here or some sort of a stability in this connection in a practical way. But I feel like they were not, and that was part of the problem, was that there was no offer of stability. Also, I feel as though this Divine Masculine was not facing whatever fears or whatever confusion, whatever it was they were supposed to face in order to step up to um, answer the call of whatever this connection is. Um, okay, Spirit, why are we seeing this? Has this Divine Masculine made a decision? What is this message about? Why are we delivering this? Now, if you're resonating with the one having to make the decision here, um, you're kind of feeling as though the other energy is not wanting to hear from you or is not going to be receptive to you. I do feel that energy has pulled away and you're needing to come into some sort of truth here. So let's see. Very interesting pile number one that you're connecting to the collective reading I did the other day. And I don't know if I called you Pile 3 at some point. I don't know. Maybe there is some tie to Pile 3 because now I'm hearing Pile 3 and <laughs> Spirit's coming with all these downloads. Okay. Pile number one. Let us see. Why are we getting this message, Spirit? Clear and concise message. Thank you so much for Pile number one. What do they need to know? Why are we seeing this? Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Pile number one, for allowing me to tap into your beautiful energy and the energy around you at this time. I'm so blessed and so grateful. We have the Magician. We have the King of Swords coming out for a third time. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Temperance in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, the Four of Pentacles coming out for a third time, Justice in reverse for a second time, the Lovers for a second time, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups coming out for the second time. Okay, people, I never read bottom of the deck in reverse, by the way, and I read on energy in case you're new to this channel. There is heavy reconciliation on somebody's brain here, okay? I do feel like you're, you're involved with the King of Swords, and you're potentially not the King of Swords now, um... And the King of Swords here is somebody who is needing to make a decision. I feel a fairly logical person here who might have found themselves on the other end of someone else's action because there was um, an inability to move forward or make shit happen here. So I'm feeling heavy Libra again. Okay. Um, doesn't have to be, but that's kind of the energy coming through. But we do have Gemini, Virgo. And then Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sagittarius, Cancer coming through. Just uh, could be heavy in the birth chart. But this King of Swords was needing to make shit happen here and brings a level of stability. But I feel like this King of Swords was too held back or too restricted um, or hanging on to something here, uh, not not moving forward here. And it was bringing um, a heavy sense of imbalance to this connection and was being quite defensive here and caused a lot of defensive type energies in order for there to be a coming together. They weren't quite bringing balance or showing up in a way that was going to be helpful. Um, yeah, I see this is like not moving forward. This is like an imbalance card here. This is someone just kind of giving up, not putting in energy. This is imbalance here, needing to make a decision, defensive imbalance, being held back. Um, wanting to reconcile here. Okay, so, yeah, wanting quick action. So, 
if there was an energy here that was held back, needing to make a decision, um, they were defensive of even making a decision or coming together here because uh, they weren't moving forward here in a practical way. They're now wanting to move forward here to reconcile with you. Although I don't know that this person um, is bringing a level of stability with them. I do not see that. I feel like they're just wanting to reconcile and maybe you already know this. And they could want to reconcile because I do feel as though you pulled away your energy from this person. So I don't feel as though this is going to amount to much of anything. But let's see. Spirit, final message here. Why are we seeing this? Is this King of Swords coming with a level of stability, commitment? What is this reconciliation about? And why are we seeing this for beautiful pile number one? Final message here, Spirit. What am I missing? Thank you so much. All right, pile number one. It sounds like I'm just confirming something here for you and I'm not bringing you any new information. It's kind of what I feel. You could be tied again, like I said, to pile number three in some way. Maybe the message is there. If you resonate with this, I'm being fed that information. I don't know why. We'll see. I have not filmed uh, or recorded pile three yet, so I have no idea what that's even about yet. We have four of swords. Yeah, somebody's reflected here um, is coming out of a period of exile. Okay, so someone you probably walked away from, they've reflected, they've been hurt over it because they haven't made a decision here and they've had an epiphany. Okay, they've had an epiphany. They've reflected, they've contemplated this information in regards to offering a practical offer here in stability. Okay, and this three of three of wands in reverse, this is like where we prepare and we gather and we lay all the foundation here in order for uh, the future, in order for our ships to come in. Um, we're kind of preparing for the future because we've decided to move ahead. It's in reverse. So I feel like you guys moved moved on, like I said, from this person. And I feel like this person's had an epiphany here that they're needing to come forward with something practical in a way here that's going to build some stability because you have moved moved away and pulled your energy um but i mean if they're coming with an ace of pentacles this uh, this card fell on the floor the knight of pentacles in reverse yeah that's like no movement here again 10 of swords there was an ending although in reverse Okay, lots of energy I'm feeling here. The Queen of Swords for a third time and the world in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. And here we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so I think what Spirit is saying is you're most likely, um, I don't know, I feel like you guys pulled your energy away here, but if you are having a level of anxiety here, potentially in regards to a situation, um, maybe you're not having anxiety and this is the other energy you're dealing with, but... This reading was to confirm that whoever it was that was left behind here because they weren't moving forward here, they don't have full closure here. They've had a, an epiphany and a realization here that they need to get very, very clear, very direct in order to move forward. They're going to have to offer this um, this grounding practical offer here of something that's going to flourish in the pentacle realm here um and i feel like there has been somebody not listening to their intuition somebody not deciding somebody not moving somebody not being clear and this person is obviously not has not accepted the ending um does not think that there has been full closure here in a situation. In fact, I feel like this person is wanting to move forward here, but I feel as though what Spirit is saying is this person wants to move forward here with potentially an ace of pentacles, which is like a seed of hope for something here. Um, but I feel like Spirit's message is maybe this is not good enough for you. Uh, maybe this is not good enough for you not to wait for this because I feel like this is an attempt to kind of get you maybe back to where you were. Like there's a level here of 
something you're not seeing. Um, and I feel like what you're not seeing is the long-term expansion of something here because it seems like it's just to maybe pull you back into a reconciliation because of the anxiety one is feeling. Yeah, the star in reverse. This is like losing hope or needing to heal some more. Um, yeah, if somebody's reaching out to you, whatever this energy was, um, if it seems like they're offering you an Ace of Pentacles, they could very well be just kind of talking a talk here, but I, I feel like they've had a, a realization of sorts here. So they're not accepting whatever ending has happened here. And spirit is wanting you to know that it's still not at a spot of forward movement or expansion to the point where it's needing to be. So, I mean, whether you accept this person or not is kind of up to you. Eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like um, there is still a need for this person to completely come out of a four of pentacles completely look at whatever situation that they're in here be honest with themselves um which they're doing but i feel as though they're still kind of tied emotionally to something here that isn't allowing them to completely close out that cycle before they can start new with you here um so it's like they have one foot still in the old world or one foot still in something here. And I don't know, now I'm getting a uh, heavy um, energy here that if your person was in a third party situation and you've walked away from this person, you need to confirm that this person has closed out a cycle or has completely released themselves from a third party or else the expansion here is very limited and they might not be completely honest with you, even though they're giving you a promise of something for the future here. And I feel this person is having anxiety because you've pulled away here and they know that they need to act, although they're still not fully allowing themselves to break free from this third party. Yeah, I feel like you guys will know if this message is for you. It's very specific now, okay? And the fact we have lovers, we're just choosing between two lovers potentially, and you had to walk away because this person wasn't choosing you or they were kind of having their cake and eat it too. I still feel like this person is tied with one foot to their uh, the third party energy here, but is wanting to pull you back into whatever this is. Um, that's the message I'm getting here from Spirit. Somebody needed to hear this one. So if this resonated, let me know. Um, like I said, very specific here. And I'm going to move on to pile number two. And... You might want to go sit in three if you were drawn to it. Um, could have a message there for you or even in two. I don't know. We'll see and I will see you guys soon. Thank you. Hello, my beautiful pile number two. We have the Night Sun Tarot. And um, yeah, it's super early in the morning. So I don't know what these messages are. One was quite interesting, um, but apparently you're needing to hear this message. Um, so... Let's see, what does spirit want to communicate to you? What do you need to know for pile number two? Something you need to know right here, right now, that spirit wants to communicate for pile number two. Thank you so much, spirit, for this clear and concise message for pile number two. Pile number two, thank you so much for allowing me to tap into your beautiful energy and the energy around you at this time for this message. What are you needing to hear? What are you needing to know? What's Spirit's message for you? We have the Three of Cups. And we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Mm. We have the Moon in reverse. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Swords in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. The Tower. Alrighty. Uh, why is the Ten of Wands in reverse here? We have the Magician in reverse. And finally, why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? We have the Eight of Wands. And the bottom of the deck, the Hangman. And I don't read bottom of the deck in reverse. Um, 
Hangman. Okay, so something, this is interesting. I wonder if all these piles are somehow connected here. I don't know. But I'm feeling here as though something um, that has come to an end or is in a pause period right now. And it's in a pause period right now. And I feel like there's been a lot of reflection here and contemplation. Although there is a desire to come together here. Um, so either you're wanting to or energetically, there is some energy tied to you that's wanting to come together here and release themselves from any sort of hold back that they were having here, or fear that they were having here in opening up their heart space. So somebody's wondering whether someone's going to come forward with some sort of an apology here. And I feel like there is kind of a, a surprise here with the tower, but I feel like the surprise here is, um, is that somebody is actually coming into some sort of an awareness here. And the awareness is how they might have been showing up here um, was the problem, was the burden, was the reason why things weren't moving forward. And that allowing themselves to see this or have this information kind of shown to them is now making them want to go from an energy that felt like um, it was resistant or that it was held back and causing all sorts of uncertainty to um, forward movement, having a breakthrough and communicating this, okay? But I feel like it was stuck. Someone who needed to apologize, someone who needed to come forward was kind of not doing what they were intuitively being called to do here. Five of Wands in reverse, conflict, internal conflict. So, could very well be tied to the pile one. This is similar energy here, I feel like, but I feel this is flipped. I feel like somebody here is having a realization that they really want to come together to make things work and that their energy was preventing a union of sorts here. Um, and they're having to release themselves from any sort of fear that was holding them back to not move forward here. So, oh, for zodiac signs, we have, uh, what do we have? We have Pisces and we have Gemini, Virgo. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all we have have let's take a look why are we seeing this spirit why are we seeing this message for pile number two what is this one really wanting to come out which is the four of cups okay let's leave that there why are we seeing this message for pile number two what do they need to know about this energy and why are we seeing it i just heard the name brad for somebody uh confirmation uh, Paul, I also heard. We have, once I start hearing names, they don't stop. So we're going to ask Spirit for the message first. Spirit, what is this message? We see five of cups. Did I say four? It's the five of cups, the ten of, or sorry, the wheel of fortune, the six of pentacles in reverse, the ace of swords, the ace of pentacles. Wow. Okay, why is the five of cups here? Of the king of swords coming out in reverse we have the four of swords we have the three of swords all right we have the king of pentacles and we have the tower for a second time bottom of the deck we have the two of pentacles i feel as though this message like i said i don't know if i men mentioned it uh in the intro or not but i'm recording at like super early in the morning it was like five in the morning or four in the morning where when I started getting these downloads that this message needed to come out I could see why now because I do feel there is a level of anxiety here although I don't see the nine of swords but three of swords is talking about heartache um feeling heartbroken feeling heartbroken looking at a situation in sadness here and I feel like somebody's really heartbroken because they were needing to make a decision here Okay, they were needing to make a decision and be wise about their decision here. And I feel like this decision was impacting their destiny, was impacting 
their fortune here in regards to what their future would hold. And I feel like this person's really reflected and has had to have to reflect here because um, I do feel like there was a separation and ending here because of an imbalance, somebody not choosing, which led to a separation heartbreak here. So they're needing to come into a truthful awareness here that there needs to be a practical offering here, a new beginning in stabilizing something once the tower fell um, or the tower is falling here because somebody's pulled away their energy due to the fact that somebody wasn't coming forward with communication in regards to stabilizing, adding some sort of commitment stability here to a structure here that just kind of came tumbling down causing a lot of pain. There was a heavy imbalance here. Um, and someone is recognizing this. Okay. Um, yeah, they're really needing to choose this and they're not in a very good headspace right now at all. They're having to put in the energy, the efforts and the time and commitment to making something happen here. Um, I feel one person was fighting for the connection and one person was not acting in their highest good here but now there is a realization of this so okay this is pretty much the same message as pile one um and i did instruct one to go see three so if you're resonating with this you may want to go see one um and i don't know maybe even three which is certainly up to you but i feel like i'm just delivering what you already know aside from the fact that i think if you're the energy that is pulled away from someone here, maybe you're not realizing or understanding the full depth of what this other energy is feeling. Because I feel somebody here is really heartbroken here over this um, and feeling regret, remorse, sadness. Mm, okay, and they're getting... Um, they're getting... Um, called by spirits and their intuition to kind of do what's best for themselves here um, in regards to this connection because I feel like this person wasn't doing what what the best thing here would have been in this connection for themselves or maybe self-sabotaging um, for whatever reason let's see why are we seeing this spirit? Why are we seeing this message for pile two? We have the seven, sorry, the chariot in reverse. I'm still half asleep. Six of pentacles, seven of cups in reverse, the world in reverse, the king of pentacles for a second time, judgment. Yes, nine of swords. Now we see the nine of swords. We see the fool. We see the Hierophant, and we're also seeing the Two of Swords in reverse, bottom of the deck. We're seeing the Two of Wands. Yeah, Two of Wands or, and the Two of Swords. So someone was needing to make a decision here. This is why this message is coming out. Somebody's had a realization here. This is a moment of truth, uh, an awakening. I'm hearing for some of you guys, there could have been a third-party situation. I'm hearing again. Um... Only take that if it resonates. Someone was having to choose between you and someone, something else here, and they weren't allowing things to progress here in this connection. There was a, a heavy imbalance here, and I feel like this person is realizing and stressing out here about how imbalanced this must have been for um, you in this situation and for this connection and not allowing it to move forward. Now, I do see... Um, the seven of cups in reverse. So I feel as though whatever options or decisions this person was kind of keeping open, they're having a realization that they're going to have to put an end to that in order to show a level of commitment here and dedication and stability. Commitments, cards, both of these. Um, and they're going to have to make this decision. Although I feel like you energetically have pulled away. Now you could flip energies and if you've pulled away, then this person is dealing with the consequences of not making a decision and choosing you. Although they haven't ended a cycle here and they're needing to end a cycle either with the third party or allow themselves to close something out here and come out of a state of indecision, confusion, um, which they're in the process of doing here. Yeah. 
in the process of coming out of confusion and the process of coming out of the moonlight this is both where we're kind of where we were confused at one point uh very confused and not seeing what we needed to do here and we are now getting clear as to the fact that the universe has been trying to move us along in some way there's a lot of anxiety around what they're needing to do here in order to balance things out and choose this connection but there is an understanding that there needs to be a commitment so I feel as though if this is tied to one, the energy here isn't closing out a cycle just yet. So they might still have their, mm, their foot in two possibilities here. If they're in a third party, they could still be kind of there. This pile feels a slightly different, a uh, different energy here than one. Um, let's see. What's different than one here, Spirit? Why am I seeing this again? Why does pile two sound like pile one? What's going on here? Why are we seeing this for a beautiful pile number two? Why do they need to hear about this? I feel like you guys moved on already, so I don't know why we're seeing all this. Okay, seven of cups. Seven of swords in reverse. The ten of swords in reverse. The knight of pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Swords in Reverse. The World. The Nine of Wands. The Page of Swords. The High Priestess. And the Six of Wands. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces Energy. Yeah, okay, so what do we see here? I think spirit is coming through kind of with the same message as one. Uh, maybe this was just a collective reading and not a pickup pile because I feel as though this is the same message, although energetically it feels a little bit different here. I feel like spirit is wanting you to know that whoever was supposed to be listening to their intuition here um they've definitely reflected here there's a lot of love here but i feel like this person is having to close out a cycle completely here and leaving the back door open which is potentially choosing a third party situation that doesn't have to be a person it could be whatever third energy here was getting in the way of them choosing this connection or committing to this connection um and this person's coming forward with some sort of an apology and communication about it um but I feel like it's because they've been forced uh, and you could potentially be very defensive about this. But I feel like this person feels forced because of an ending and they can see why there was no movement here. Um, I feel like this person, the similarities between one and, and two here is I feel like this person really wants to um just get you back okay they want victory they want to get you back here because of a heavy level of anxiety here and that they're still needing to close out a cycle completely here the difference i feel here is that this person is most likely already committed to having communication to you um like they're pretty much on the verge of coming forward with some communication here but spirit's warning if you will is that this person's still a little bit immature here still you need to get them to communicate um that they've closed out any sort of cycles here rather than keeping you as an option but i feel like they do want a new beginning here there's an emotional new beginning that could potentially result here from this person coming forward with an apology and I feel like in this pile, you guys are more likely to take this person back. But yeah, coming out of an eight of swords, something that was held back. I feel like this pile here, you're more likely to take your person back. Pile one, I felt like, yeah, that person was going to be in the doghouse for, <laughs> for some time longer. Um, but spirit's still communicating here. Whatever this person's still a little immature. I feel like this person still hasn't closed whatever back door. And I feel like there might be a successful reunion here because I feel like 
you're really potentially wanting a new beginning and i feel there's a lot of love here towards your person from you so you might have been expecting this person to come back yeah the devil in reverse and the eight of swords in reverse so this person um you'll have to confirm that they've ended whatever devil energy they were in whatever they were bound to whatever is holding them back and i feel like they were keeping a lot of their options open and not necessarily a bunch of people romantically but lots of options meaning they weren't really committing they weren't really um choosing this connection and it was causing grief but i feel like this person is going to come forward with some communication here although i still feel very immature nine of pentacles yeah like there is a need for you to know that you could be um successful aside from whatever connection this is here because i feel like you have been standing kind of on your own here uh, and this person has to also show that they are single, okay? And that they're able to independently choose this connection because they might come with a lot of baggage here that I feel like the baggage is still around. Um, so spirits cautioning this that, yeah, no matter how much you love your person here, there is a need for you to really um listen to what your intuition is telling you if you feel as though this person um hasn't closed out a cycle or wasn't moving forward because they were keeping their back door open or some options open and then you've ended it with this person here that they may be coming back because they feel a level of anxiety wanting a win with you here but at all costs of what right so this is the message for pile number two very similar to one um to be honest with you so Someone needed to hear this. I'm going to move to pile number three, which I feel might be um, the message for everyone. We'll see. I will see you guys later. If you're inclined to see three, go ahead. If not, I will catch you later. Bye. Hello, beautiful pile number three. You picked the shuffle tarot. I love this deck so, so much. Very layered message. Uh, I am doing this super early in the morning. This has been probably the most interesting reading I've done. I mean, strange um, that I was being called to do this it's so early in the morning. And the fact that one and two were super similar, more like a collective message. And I felt that they were both being, uh, both being kind of told or pulled towards pile number three. So pile number three. You're the saving grace here. I have a feeling this might be the message that pile one and two are needing to hear somehow. But if you pick pile three, let's see what spirit needed to communicate to you. What is so important? What do we need to hear, spirit? Why are we seeing this? And what does pile number three need to know right here, right now, in regards to their energy and the energy around them at this time? Thank you so much, pile number three. And thank you so much, Spirit, for this clear and concise message for pile number three. I'm so blessed and so grateful for delivering this message. What do we have? Okay. The King of Squirrels. That's interesting. That's specific to this deck. Okay. This card. So it's not like a suit in any which way, but it is in reverse. Okay, we have Eight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, why is this King of Squirrels here? We have Eight of Swords in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. We have Judgment. And we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck energy, we have the Hanged Man. 
Hangman was at the bottom of the deck in pile number two. Okay, yeah, I feel the energies are very, very tied. Now, this was giving me King of Pentacles type energy um, with the King of Squirrels. But I feel like this is somebody coming into some sort of an awareness, which is interesting because we do see judgment here. Coming into some enlightenment here, which is exactly what the Hangman's about. And look, you have the couple from the, the Devil card here walking away holding hands like they've been freed from devil energy okay and we do see the devil represented here in the judgment card um of the shuffle tarot because they kind of merge the major arcana together so i feel like there was a devil situation in which somebody was held back somebody was held back um they felt stuck in whatever situation they were either actively choosing uh, to be stuck in or felt like they had no way out of. And so I would feel as though there was a period of pause where this person was needing to heal, or at least healing has happened as a result of a period of pause here, okay? And they're really reflecting on, I guess, how imbalanced this connection to you energetically could have been, okay? Now, you could flip energies if this feels more like you than the person you're kind of tied to, but... I feel like whatever was holding them back, um, they're freeing themselves from the fact that these lovers are, or these love, yeah, the lovers that are in the devil card are being freed. And the fact that the eight of swords is in reverse, which is releasing ourselves for some limitation. Okay. Um, although I feel like there is, um, communication that hasn't happened yet that is needing to happen in order for things to progress here. And I definitely feel as though you've walked away still from whatever this is here, which has kind of triggered this period of reflection here for the other individual. And I feel like there was a need for somebody to step up and put in the energy and the effort here in order to bring in balance and a level of stability here. And I do feel as though that is what this reading's about is like justice in this situation um, would be to bring balance, would be to allow things to stabilize here. Um, I do feel like someone is manifesting this and with the Knight of Wands, this is like making something happen here. This is quick energy towards you know, uh, making something happen and having to walk away or leave another situation here in order to be dedicated and focused here to bring the right amount of energy. I feel though, um, yeah, that there was a need to choose and that this person didn't choose, okay, and it resulted in an ending. So now this person's wanting to come Wanting to come forward, and I feel like this person's wanting to come forward here with communication. They have not done so already in regards to why they weren't adding stability or committing or being uh, an energy here that you could depend on. We see the judgment figure here, um, which is interesting because the judgment card's right below it. So... I feel like they were needing to come into some sort of an, an awareness here that they have now in order to move forward, in order to come forward with an offer of stability here, although slow is, is crap because the Knight of Pentacles moves very, very slowly. Um, but I feel like there is an energy moving very slowly here um, in offering you a pentacle here and walking away or freeing themselves from whatever because they've been enlightened they can now see where they were being held back where the they had devil energy here and i do feel like it's been with a lot of anxiety although i feel like this person's breaking out of whatever anxiety in order to step forward here um but you guys might still be a little bit defensive here yeah i need to really work together and i felt like what was happening was, this is the Three of Swords. Like, I feel like there was a lot of heartbreak in a situation. And potentially you suffered a lot of heartbreak for some time here. But I feel like this energy has had to sit in their own heartbreak here and really reflect on why they weren't 
coming forward in a practical way here to work together. And in order to do that, there's going to have to be a manifestation of what they need to do, which is put in energy and effort and walk away from some devil energy, something that was holding them back here, some sort of fear. Yeah, this is wearing a mask too. So there could have been a lot of fear around um, image or perception or what they had to do in order to come forward here. But I feel like they haven't communicated yet this realization. So let's see why we see this. Um, this is very, very much the same energy I was feeling in pile one and two. Um, so maybe we'll get some more in this pile. Or maybe all three messages are exactly the same. And Spirit just wanted to really hammer home this message. But let's see. What is this message all about for pile number three spirit what am i missing why are we seeing this why are we seeing this i mean i feel like someone's really having a lot of anxiety because of an ending okay and they're really coming into an awareness um in this pile specifically i feel like there has been a release of whatever was holding them back and in the other two i felt like there wasn't quite a release just yet um, there was a recognition that they needed to release either third-party energies or whatever was restricting them from moving or committing. In this one, I feel as though there is a release. There is uh, a full recognition as to what was holding them back. So now let's see. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the exact same spot. We have the Two of Cups in the exact same spot. We have the King of Wands. We have the Queen of Squirrels now in reverse. We have the Page of Cups. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. We have the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. We have the Squirrel of Wands. That's interesting. And we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I feel like there's uh, a message here in regards to, I think spirit sometimes will come through if spirit doesn't want you reliving some sort of cycle. So you could very well have been cyclical with this energy, reliving cycles here, somebody really needing to uh break out of a cycle here in order for things to get better but look these two sort of figures kind of lazadaisically just kind of not doing what they need to do this is giving me the energy of somebody who is overindulging and could certainly be overindulging in substances or distractions uh, which could have been the devil energy that we were seeing this person and they were needing to in order to break out of a cycle or you know, start with a new beginning here, um, have a recognition, their ownership in this rather than being lazadaisical here. And in order to manifest a new beginning, there has to be a breaking out of this type of an energy, which I think was the biggest problem here is their nine of cups uh, energy and the dark, uh, I guess, attribute here with the nine of cups is that it's somebody could be very selfish or greedy, right? So I feel as though this message is saying there is a, an apology coming forward here, okay? And we do have the temperance here, which is all about balance, coming forward to temper a situation here in order to bring peace and healing. Page is all about communication and, like I said, an apology here. Um, and I feel like this person is doing this, um, though I feel like you've made a quick exit here in this connection and you've had to put an end to it because this person wasn't choosing to walk away from something here in order to bring stability okay and i feel as though i mean the ten of cups here represented by the ten of pentacles scene is like in order for there to be emotional happiness here in a coming together there has to be a practicality here in a long-term type commitment i feel like there was a lot of uh, there was a need for this person to energetically invest in a practical way here in order for there to be happiness, and they did not. So there was an ending, and you had pulled away or left suddenly, potentially. Maybe this was um, quite shocking to this person, or at least has left them in a state here um, 
of yeah really having to deal with the consequences of their actions so i do see with the king of wands which is all about confidence the emperor is also all about confidence and being empowered to do something and act and i feel like this person is empowered to bring balance and to apologize here wanting a new beginning here because you see the ace of cups okay the squirrel of wands i mean wands is about you know being empowered here to follow our passions but I feel like this person is very inspired to move forward to add, um, to want a new beginning, but I feel like to add uh, abundance here in some sort of way, or at least begin to offer something, a resemblance of abundance here um, for the long term. And I do feel like energetically, you guys might have, um, yeah, just kind of given up, given up. Uh, expecting anything from this person because there was no offering here with the ace of pentacles in reverse there was no practical offering um so you might be in an energy here of not being very receptive to this person until they offer you this so let's see we have temperance coming out uh in reverse so yeah that's this like this is the temperance figure here um, I feel like the biggest challenge was that they weren't showing up in a balanced way here. And the biggest way to bring about balance was to energetically make an offer here and put an effort. Okay, put an effort. And I feel like that would provide for a long term type stability here and emotional happiness. But I feel like someone was being very selfish. Um, and just looking after, I guess, themselves in some way here. So final um, around here to see why we're seeing this spirit. This person's coming forward with an apology. Why are we seeing this? What does pile number three need to know about this message? Why are we seeing this for pile number three spirit? Shuffly do that. Judgment coming out again. The devil, 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 but represented by the fool here. Squirrel of Wands coming out again. Now it's in reverse. Knight of Pentacles coming out again. Now it's in reverse. We have Seven of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Hierophant in reverse, we have the Knight of Swords in the upright now, the Knight of Cups, and one more, the Queen of Wands, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, mm-hmm, again, this would be a, a commitment card, okay? Stability. So I feel like there's been a lot of conflict around stability. And in fact, I feel like this person had a decision to make to choose to come forward with providing stability here in a, in a situation um, that could have been, had a lot of potential and they did not. So I feel like you're just, you've been disinterested, you've ended a connection and what this resulted in is somebody having uh, an awareness here okay and most likely the person we're reading about here and their awareness is that they were tied to some devil energy here which was holding them back and in order for them to break free from this they were really needing to embrace the fact that um with fool energy this is a new beginning and taking a leap of faith towards something that they might not know what the result is here but needing to walk away knowing that whatever situation they were in was limiting was restricting was not allowing them to come forward with a level of commitment here um and also i feel as though there was a level of vulnerability that was required here in order to have a new beginning in order to allow things to progress here so i feel like this person is wanting to fight for 
this. Um, they're now getting very certain this is kind of what they want as a result of an ending here, which was very painful. I feel like this person's experienced the Three of Swords. Now you might have completely pulled away here. And there is a recognition that they weren't moving forward. There was no progress here. And if there was, it was really, really slow until the ending happened. This person has had to go inwards to really reflect here on themselves and understand that they were being selfish here. I see the Ace of Cups, which is all about self-love. And look at how overflowing this cup is. We were seeing the Nine of Cups because I feel like this person was really filling their own cup at the neglect of the, the what you're needing here and also the potential of this situ of this connection um how it could expand here so i feel like this person is really still having hope here that they could come in they can rush in here they can offer a cup and what i feel though the spirit is saying is that there needs to be a practical offer here Okay, like pentacles, not necessarily cups, because I feel like this person is willing to share emotions um, or at least communicate how they're feeling. But I feel like they're needing to offer something stable here. And the fact that we see the seven of pentacles depicted like the scene, uh, scene of the seven of swords, it's like, you know, um, deceptive or somebody kind of thinking of themselves here. So... I don't know that this person is coming forward here offering pentacles, offering pentacles, or just coming forward communicating that they've reflected, they've experienced pain, you leaving, they're seeing hope for the future here. But the hope that they're seeing for the future is more communicating how they're feeling. Um, there is still a selfish energy coming through here, and they're needing to offer pentacle, but. Now I'm tied back to pile one, which is they might offer one pentacle, which is like a hope, um, a seed, but it's not really based in, in a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, and it could just be them doing this in order to gain your trust again. The Queen of Wands in her shadow side is she wears a mask here, okay? So she could be wearing a mask. This is represented by the Empress, which is all about love. So I feel like the mask here is this person feels love. So they're willing to say or do anything here in order to get you to come back in, which is I'll offer you this pentacle as a promise. But I think you need to really ask, like, what is it building? What is the long term plan here for expansion? You know, here's the page of pentacles in reverse. And represented by hangman, which is, you know, someone having to really reflect and see things from a different perspective here. So I feel like this person's offer, um, although maybe they're not trying to deceive, I feel could be quite deceptive here. And it's like this knight of swords, like rushing in here, acting in whichever way they can in order to save the day. But it's like, act now, think later. So... If there is a promise of a pentacle here, I think what Spirit is wanting you to ask is like, you know, what is the long-term promise here of abundance for this connection to expand? And can you trust this pentacle being offered? Um, I feel like it's coming from a good place, but what sort of commitment here? What sort of stability? What's the long-term plan here? because I don't know that this person has given it that deep a thought rather than it's reactionary. Yeah. So they don't lose out on a potential here. So they're still having to completely choose this connection here um, and drop whatever devil energy here and completely take a leap of faith and risk moving forward here, um, which I feel this person is willing to do. But if you don't ask them, I don't feel like this person is going to just a volunteer so the message across the board is pretty consistent here i feel like there's a separation someone's coming forward with an apology someone's feeling very low um energetically here and i feel like they want to reconcile with you and um if you've moved away then that's kind of your own prerogative here and if you are wanting to come together but only if there is a promise then that promise um you really need to scrutinize where that's coming from 
because I think for a lot of you guys, this person is reacting out of a fear of losing your energy here for good. Um, and if you are looking at reconciling here with no questions asked, you might be reliving a cycle again, okay? So that's the message from Spirits. I hope this helped. I love you guys very much. I'm going to bed. I'll see you soon. Bye.